Hello, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're a new subscriber, please write me a comment and let me know that you're a new subscriber. I want to welcome you. I'm excited that you're here. I had a comment from somebody saying that they wish that they had friends that they could talk about this kind of stuff with. Can we make this a place where we can all just chat and figure stuff out here in the comments, help each other out here in the comments. I had another comment from someone just asking for advice on something and before I could even respond, somebody else was responding and giving them advice and I'm like, I love that. Can we have more of that please? <laughs> but yeah, I'm actually here today because of that comment. I wanted to address it. I did my previous video based on a comment that somebody left and I feel like it's a good way to bring up new topics, help people at the same time, and then also anyone else who's like struggling with that same thing. So let's read it. How can you get your SP back when they seem happy and committed with a 3P? Is it even possible or even the right thing to do? Okay. This is a good topic. I'm excited. I think I could talk about this for forever, but I'm going to try and like keep it pretty concise. And then if we have any more questions, I can like do videos that's clarifying what I'm talking about. So is it possible to get your specific person back when they seem happy and committed with a 3P? First of all, why are you even looking? <laughs> Rule number one is you should be ignoring the 3D. So you should not be looking and determining if you think that they look happy or not. Let's just like say that right off the bat. You can manifest absolutely anything that you want. So yes, you can get this person. It doesn't matter what's going on. It doesn't matter what the 3D circumstances are. It does not matter. It doesn't matter if they are on the opposite side of the world from you. It doesn't matter if they told you that you can only, that they only wanna be your friend or they wanna be friends with benefits. It doesn't matter anything that somebody has said. Circumstances do not matter. I don't care if they've been in a relationship with a third party and they seem happy by what you consider seeming happy. What, what Instagram stories together? I don't fucking know. None of that matters, okay? None of that matters because they are just acting as who you are expecting them to be. They are rejecting you because you are allowing them to reject you. Everyone is you pushed out. Everyone is you pushed out means that somebody is going to act according to how you expect them to react. They are all you. Everyone is you pushed out. Everyone is you. If they are you, they can only reject you if you allow them to reject you. They can only reject you if you are rejecting yourself. Now, is it wrong to manifest an SP back? I, I know this question is stemming from people saying that, you know, like you're taking away someone's free will. So that's how I'm going to address it. Nobody has free will either in your reality. The only person who has free will is you because there are infinite versions of, a per of people. There are infinite versions of the life that you're living. Every time you have had a choice to go this way or this way, that has branched off into a different reality over and over and over and over. It's a tree with like a million little branches stemming and stemming and stemming. That is how many realities that there are. So when you're manifesting, you are jumping into a different reality. When you are changing a person, you are jumping into a different reality with a different version of them. That's why they don't have free will because you're just choosing the version of them who is, re who is behaving in the way that you want them to behave. There's versions of this person who loves you. There's versions of this person who hates you. You get to choose which one you want to see. And that's the best part of manifesting, I think. You get to choose. So yes, you may have manifested seeing a horrible version of them in the past. But guess what? It was you. You did it. You did it. Take responsibility for it. Stop being mad at them. Stop holding a grudge at them for something that they said. You, said, you made them say it. You made them behave in that way. Take the responsibility and take, just take your power back that way. It's so freeing and liberating to me when I realized that people are only doing what I make them do and I can literally make them be who I want them to be now. If I've already made them behave this certain way, I'm gonna un undo that and make them behave the, the correct way. So 
manifesting your specific person away from a third party. It's just you choosing the version of them where they are in a happy, loving, healthy, committed relationship with you instead. Choosing the version of them where they love you. They want to be with you. I'm not seeing how that can be wrong. It's not like they're your puppet and you're manipulating them. What is that Neville Goddard story? Hold on. Okay, I wanted to quote this book, but I didn't want to mess it up because I love the way that this is written. So this is Neville Goddard. This one's from The Law and the Promise. The revised imaginal structure, basically changing the story to a different story. The revised imaginal structure may have a great influence on others, but that is not your concern. The other influenced in this following story is profoundly grateful for that influence. Then it goes on to talk about how she met a man. She wanted to marry him. Um, they fell out of contact. It's like the 1940s. They didn't have cell phones. She moved and he couldn't find her. She imagined them together and eventually they were together. Somebody coming into your life that you are manifesting. You're in a happy relationship. It's not like you're taking away their free will to the part that you're forcing them to, you're dragging them like down the aisle against their will. That's not what, that's not what they don't have free will means. They're, they're happy. They're grateful for it. They're in love with you. Okay. Like, does that make sense? He was influenced by her manifestations, but he's grateful for that because he loves her. So we're state shifting, we're shifting realities. We're just going into the reality where they're choosing you instead of a third party. I keep relating everything back to being in your God state, being in your, like you, you are source, okay? Like you are source energy, you are the universe, you are God, whatever you wanna call it. But what I mean when I say being in your God state in this sense is, what is God? Naturally, God is love, happiness, joy, unconditional love. That is what God, the universe source is. Unconditional love, happiness. If you think of something and it gives you an icky feeling, it gives you anxiety, you know that you don't want it. And you, that's, a, that's an immediate thing. You think of, you think of something and you know whether you reject that or you ex you want to accept that. If you were thinking of something and it gives you a nasty, icky feeling, your pure love God state self is rejecting that. And as God, as the universe, as source, you get to decide whether to accept or reject anything. Just because you have a thought come in does not mean that you're accepting it. That's why I'm saying you don't have to be afraid of your thoughts. Not all of your thoughts are going to manifest. I was saying that there's infinite realities with different options. You feeling something is just a memory of a different alternate universe. And you don't have to step into that. If you do not want to step into that, you don't have to. Any negative thought you have does not have to exist in this reality. Anything that makes you feel ick, icky, gross, I don't want that, that sounds miserable, you do not have to accept in this reality. It is simply not true. It's a lie. It's made up. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist here. You're remembering it wrong. When you think of something that makes you not feel good, even if it happened in your past 3D, if that makes you not feel good and you don't want to align with that anymore, you are remembering it wrong. You are remembering it unjustly. If your person told you that they wanted this third party and not you, but you don't like that, you remembered it wrong. That's unjust. It's not true. They never said that. Choose something else. Remember it righteously. Revise that. Turn it around. Make it feel good to you. Revision is a way that you can literally change the past, change the timeline that you're on, and jump it into a, a different timeline, a different reality. It literally changes the past. I have heard so many stories of somebody revising something, and then people literally can't recall it happening. Like somebody revising a breakup, 
and then somebody is the, the person that did the breaking up is literally can't remember even doing it. I've heard stories of people revising a third party never happening and that person literally can't remember the person existing. So change what you don't want to see. You can think that you've never had something your whole entire life. But as soon as you change your thoughts and you, you say, no, I did have that, it actually went this way. You will start to see, your eyes will open up, your brain will open up and you will start to see all the evidence that what you believe now, the new version, has always been there all along. You can sit there and have a negative view about somebody. You can sit there and say, oh, well, he never loved me. He never cared. He always treated me bad. You're remembering it wrong. Remember it the way you want it to be. He's always loved me. And I swear to you, things, start, things are going to start popping up that show all these little things that he, he might have done that have shown that he really does love you. It's all about your perspective. It's all about the way that you're choosing to see it. It's all your choice. Regardless of what you may have been taught to believe your entire life, your thoughts are not your intuition. Your intuition is literally because you are choosing how the world works. It's not like your intuition is uncontrollable. If a thought doesn't feel good for you, it's not your intuition. It means it's not meant for you. Don't even give it another thought. That person not being with you, making that making you not feel good that that person is not with you and making you not feel good that that person is with a third party, there is nothing, there is nothing wrong with, with wanting to change that. Whatever makes you feel good, step into that. If it makes you feel good to be with that person, be with that person. See them as the person, as the version of them that you want them to be and then mentally talk to them as if they are that. Mentally see them as if they are that and don't give them any other choice than to be that version. And that's how you change them. That's how you change a man. It's by mentally talking to him as if he's the version that you want him to be. It doesn't matter if one person needs to move or a thousand people need to move for you to get your desire. It does not matter. They will move. They will move. If you take that as logic, a specific person should be the easiest thing for you to manifest because you're only making one person move. You're only having to make one person move for your desire to happen. And they can literally change their mind like this. It doesn't have to be hard and it's not wrong. I don't care if it looks like they're happy with someone else. You don't even know that's a fact. They can be happier with you. Just choose it. Just choose that they are the happiest when they are with you. You can make that one of your affirmations. They only see me. They are the happiest when they are around me. I'm the only person that doesn't annoy them. They love to talk to me more than anyone else in the world. They feel completely comfortable when I'm around. They feel at peace when I'm around. How's that bad intentions? You want them to be happy, right? And you want to be happy too? La, 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 la. <laughs> you choose how your life goes. Everything's a manifestation. Everything. Good or bad. You, you made it happen. In that case, nothing is meant to be without you choosing that that's what you want to be. Therefore, if you're choosing that you want something to be, then it is. It has to be. Manifestation is perfect. We are meant to be, so we are. I think that's just a brilliant way to look at it. I was meant to be happy, so I am. Especially when you can get into the whole like, time is a construct, time doesn't exist. That means everything is all happening at once. So if something is meant to happen, because you decided it's going to happen, then it's already happened and then it's already happening. It always has been and it always will be. It's meant to be, so it is. It already is. Just step into, step into having it. Step into it being. Remember it righteously. All right, that is all for this video.
If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments. If you have any questions about anything else that you need help figuring out or making sense out of, leave them below in the comments and I might make my next video on that topic. Make sure to like this video, share, subscribe. Okay, bye.